According to Keith Aiken, one of the people that worked on the Godzilla the Animated Series to follow the 98 movie, Godzilla 98 and the cartoon to follow it and Zilla are not the same creature. Furthermore, he says that the size, weight, and speed from Godzilla and the cartoon are identical to the one in the movie. 55 meters tall, 90 meters long, 500 US tons, and can travel at least 300 miles per hour. 300 miles per hour at 500 US tons, that would give the kinetic energy equivalent of 1 ton of TNT. Just 5% of that can level a house. Now to figure out the force behind Godzilla's atomic fire, we're going to have to take a look at the scene where he fights Cyber Godzilla. Cyber Godzilla stands at 55 meters at his shoulder. He gets launched his height and then an additional one third of his height on top of that. I estimate that he got launched 75 meters in one second. So that's an acceleration of 75 meters a second squared. Multiply that by his mass, 500 US tons, or 453,592 kilograms. We then get a force of 7,647,865.3851 pounds force. Others have pixel scaled the diameter of Godzilla's atomic fire to be about 7 meters, giving us an area of 38.5 square meters. So we divide force by area and we get 198,645.85 psi. Now to calculate Godzilla's atomic fire heat, we're going to have to take a look at the episode where he fights a giant manta ray thing. The episode states that the fire and ice weapons colliding have created their own warm and cold fronts, thus creating a supercell. Going based on the radius of the atomic breath, the storm size, and figuring out heat transfer through radiation and convection, and a whole lot of complicated math, which I will link to in the description. I'm not going to take credit for it. Someone else figured this all out. Uh, we get a temperature range of about 148 million degrees Celsius to about 33.25 billion degrees Celsius. To put that into perspective, the hottest known star is only about 1 million degrees Celsius. To take a look at his dodging speed, we're going to have to take a look at a scene in the episode where he fights a bunch of mechs. Here we have a scene where Godzilla is dodging an energy weapon. In just half a second, it travels at least the body length of Godzilla. So we can estimate that the weapon is traveling at at least 400 miles per hour, and Godzilla dodged it in half a second from what appears to be just 45 meters away. Also, in this episode, he casually gets hit by missiles and walks away from that. And he ate titanium six inches thick. Just a little misunderstanding. So in conclusion, the American Godzilla 98, from the animated series at least, is anything but weak. 